it's family hour. There must be something on. Oh, wow! Candy Critter! Oh! Oh, great! It's Monsters, our favorite show. Shh. It's starting. So, are you gonna back me up on this or what? Come on, Bob, have a sip. No, 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 officer. I didn't have. I don't deserve no coffee. Sergeant Mancini, what's going on in here? I hate to bother you with this, Inspector. Only, this is the first time I know maybe all this craziness is for real. It's cold in here. Cold? Get to the point. The old man doesn't have any arms, so what? We found him in the subway like this, on a bench. There were no scars at all. His skin was as smooth as a whistle, like it was polished. Me and Parkhurst, we, we looked them over real careful, didn't we, Parkhurst? Come on, Parkhurst, you, you gotta back me up on this. Well, you can see for yourself, Inspector. It's like he was born this way. Maybe he was born that way, Mancini. A lot of babies are born that way nowadays. Sign of progress. That, that's just it, Inspector. We know damn well he wasn't born that way, per Parker's to me, because just yesterday, we damn near busted him for stealing a couple of pineapples off the Greek's vegetable stand down the street. He run near half a block with those damn pineapples before we stopped him, and he was using his arms to hold the goddamn things. Two of them, two arms, just like you and me got. Isn't that so, Parkhurst? Come on, Parkhurst. Damn it, back me up! <laughs> okay. I'll, uh, let you two, uh, talk it over. Yeah, you take it easy. We're not gonna hurt you. Come on, old timer. Don't, don't bother with that, Inspector. I'll take care of him. Mancini, you and Parkhurst stay put. All right, come along, my friend. They took him. They took me arms. Who took him, old-timer? Oh, I don't know, officer. I was asleep down there. Asleep by the toll booth where it's safe, you know. But it wasn't safe, because I woke up and the arms were gone, and I never even felt it. I don't even feel it now, mister. <laughs> I'll be back to talk to you two later. Oh, Jesus. Was I bad? Is that why they done it? Is that why they took it? Is that why they took me arms? No, no, no you weren't bad, old timer. You were just... Uh... I don't get it. Why'd the inspector take the old guy and leave us here? I should have taken the old guy. This isn't how you do it. 
ain't treating us like cops, I tell you. He's treating us like we was perpetrators. He's got us waiting in here a whole 15 minutes. He's working on us, damn it. So, we all ready here? You men ready to talk? How about uh, you, Parkhurst? Oh. All right. It's like he said, it's like Mancini said. Yesterday, the guy had arms. See, see, it's like I said, Inspector. It's, it's like with this other stuff. You, you hear it from the other cops. You, you see it for yourself, but you think, who's gonna believe this? Who's gonna believe some bum just lost a chunk of himself? Missing ears, noses, all that, but there's no blood. There's no scars, there's no nothing, for Christ's sake. Who's gonna believe you? For Christ's sake, who's gonna believe you? You backing this up, Parkhurst? Once we came across this nutcase, I was trying to play a busted guitar for quarters. The only trouble was, see, he didn't have any fingers. He didn't even have any thumbs. Just his palms and the backs of his hands. And all smooth around the edges. They were only flippers. You know? Like a seal. And he was crying and all, trying to tell everybody that he could play real good. If only they'd heard him yesterday. That they'd come too late. Another guy, he come up to our car, waving his arms, his mouth wide open like he wants to scream something fierce. So I roll down the window. He's not making a sound. I could feel his breath on my face, okay? I could smell it. But he's not making a sound. Then I see the reason why. You don't have no inside to his mouth, see? No teeth. No tongue. He's got nothing inside there at all. It's just a hole. Where do you think that uh, stuff uh, goes, Parkhurst? The eyes, the arms, the fingers. Where do you think that stuff goes? Well, I got an idea about that, Inspector. I haven't told nobody but Mancini here. You tell me. All right, I will. It's this guy, see? And he's the worst of all. Only, he has everything. He's not like the rest because he's not missing anything. Only none of his pieces match up. Tell me about him, Parkhurst. Good, tell me about him. He wasn't nothing, Parkhurst. We was, we was wrong about him. Oh yeah, <laughs> hell we was. You wanted me to tell about it, so I'm telling about it, so shut up. We saw him at the far end of the platform. Down there in the subway, right? The lower level where the express train stopped. It was maybe around four in the morning. It was just him and us. We had the place to ourselves. He was trying to get away from us. Only he had to kind of waddle, see? He had to walk in all these different angles. He had to move real funny all over the place. You know, this way, that way. On account he was built all weird and lopsided. Hey, look, Inspector, he's all wrong about this. Parkhurst, he's a little overexcited. All right, maybe the guy was all stitched up like he'd been sewed together a couple of hundred times, but you see stuff like that all the time in this city. It was nothing. You just shut up, Mancini. Go on, Parkhurst. He wouldn't answer to me, this guy, so I took hold of him by his shoulders. It was awful. I can't tell you just why, except one of his shoulders was big and the other one was small. It felt awful. They didn't match any way at all, those shoulders. When I got him turned round, his face was just like the rest of them. There's nothing on it. Why were there anything else? He couldn't really talk, only kind of croak on account his head didn't match his neck, see? I figured what it was was he couldn't get enough air through his throat for more than just breathing. Look, Inspector, please, let's just forget about all this, all right? I'll take care of it. You, you won't hear another word, I swear. Parkhurst, he's a little slow, you know, but, but he's okay, I swear it. 
I'll talk to him, all right, Inspector? You can count on us. It's all right, boys. Now, I gotta do a few things. I gotta get a few things, and I gotta see a few people. You boys wait here. Now, I don't want you leaving the room. You understand me? By the way, you boys did right telling me about this. Shows I can trust you. Believe me, you won't regret it. He's taking this whole thing okay, you know? Maybe we can work it out. Yeah, we can, we can still work things out. It's all right. You'll be here. Where is he? What's going on? I gotta get home. You men are going to have to trust me in a lot of things here. A lot of things that won't be easy. Okay? Now, I've talked to some important people. Told them what you said, what you saw. And this may turn out to be a very good thing for you. If you handle it right. Sign these before we go any further. This is a... That's right, Mancini. Big stuff. You're in another league. If you want to stay there, you got to be quiet. All right? It's important that you get that through your heads. Because what I'm about to tell you, what I'm about to show you, no one has the idea of what's going on. No one's supposed to have the idea of what's going on. And the important people, the people I talk to about you, they don't want you to tell what's going on. That's why you sign these papers. Of course, you don't have to sign them. It's your choice as a free country. But I have confidence in you boys. You're both good cops, good Americans. your pieces in here. My gun? You want my gun? In here. Good boy. I knew I could count on you, Parkhurst. Once a good cop. Always a good cop. I always wonder what was behind that door, behind all those locks. You really don't want people in there. That's right. We don't. You first.
Parkers. Keep moving. Jesus, there's someone in here. You couldn't say that. Maybe because you bumped into it, Parkhurst. Come on, come on. It's the fingers, too. The fingers is moving! All right, Parkhurst. Keep moving. Of you shut up. That's the way it is down here, okay? Get used to it. It isn't nice down here. What you've seen so far is nothing. If you can't even take that, you're no good to us at all. Do you two understand what I'm trying to tell you? If you can't cut it down here, we can't use you. Thing in there. Is it? Did it really, uh. Is that alive? Well, can you handle that? It's alive. It's a woman's head and it's alive. That glass case has been covered with soot for years, man. Seems it's probably been a long, long time since she's even seen a guy. <laughs> you can't blame her for wanting to kiss you. You up to this, Parker's? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Are you decent? He's the one you men saw on the subway? No. No. He ain't the one. Well, the reason I asked, we got a lot of them out there. You know, it's a funny thing. People don't seem to notice them. <laughs> I guess that's uh, because of the way the city's going downhill these days. Can't be. No, you, you wouldn't. Wouldn't do what, Mancini? You made him into a cop. You built that thing out of all those other people, and then you made it into a cop. That's an early work, an old model. Believe me, we made many more important people than just cops, Mancini. Why? We want people who are loyal, people who don't have wives or husbands, and people who don't ask questions. He was just the beginning, just the start. Too bad you boys won't get to see the others. You and Parkhurst, but it seems to me you've got a bad attitude problem here. I don't think you're going to see anything more whatsoever. I'm afraid you guys 
are only good for parts. <laughs> Ha 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 